The automated roof tools in Envisioneer create an entire roof comprising of many surfaces all at one time. The Surfaces tool creates individual surfaces. In this tooltip, we'll discuss how to use the Surfaces tool for building roof surfaces. We'll give three different scenarios to use the tool. The Surfaces tool can be used for single roof surfaces. For example, I have imported a PDF of a 2D roof plan. I only need to estimate shingles for one surface that was damaged in a storm. I can use the Surfaces tool to model just one side. Select the Surfaces tool and in the catalog panel to the right, find the surface you need for the model. Move the cursor onto the drawing screen area. When you start to trace the surface, it is important to remember that the Surfaces tool will be building a slope. To build that slope, it needs the lower point of the roof put in first, our fascia line, and then the points of the roof that slope up from it, and so on. I pick one side of the fascia end, and then the other. From there, I pick the other points that make up the roof surface. Once all of this surface has been defined, I right-click and I select Finish. The Define Surfaces dialog box appears. Here we give it the height of the fascia at the lower point, and then click the Lock button. This will lock this value from changing when I now type in the slope value for the roof. When I click the lock beside the slope value, the upper point changes accordingly. Click OK. The single roof surface is formed. If we look at it in a 3D view, we can see its geometry. Putting it back into a 2D view, I can create the entire roof using this method by individually making separate roof surfaces by selecting the shared points. Another good option for using the Surfaces tool for a roof is when you have a single shed roof surface. In this model, I want to shed roof over the front porch area. I left click at one of the lower fascia edges and then the other. I then select the remaining corners to make up the entire roof. When I'm finished, I right click and I select Finish. The Define Surfaces dialog box appears. Here we give it the height of the fascia as the lower point and then click the lock button. This will lock this value from changing when I now type in the slope value for the roof. When I click the lock beside the slope value, the upper point changes accordingly again. Click OK. The shed roof over the porch area is formed. Let's take a look at that in 3D as well. Back in a 2D view, I'm going to change my location to the second floor. The last example of how to use the Surfaces tool comes from a roof originally created using the Roof by Perimeter tool. Once a roof is inserted by the automated tool, it can be converted to surfaces and further manipulated. For example, in our model, we have a gable roof over one section. The design calls for that to be a prow. The automated tools won't allow for the edges to be uneven. We therefore need to convert it to individual surfaces to manipulate it. Select the roof, right click, and select Convert Roof to Surfaces. The Catalog Access dialog box appears giving you access to the catalog options. Select a surface and click OK. If you left click on the overhang of the roof, you will see that you are now individual surfaces and can be manipulated separately. The hollow grips on each corner can be stretched to a new point by holding down the left mouse button and dragging them to a new point. Each surface has hollow grips at each corner and each grip can be dragged to a new point if you hold down your left mouse button. This allows for the prow formation. Let's take a look at that in 3D. The Surfaces tool for roofs will help you efficiently design any roof surface. I hope that makes your work easier.